Drivers between the lines. In three, two, one, go! Away we go yet again. More predictable weather on planet Primus and more predictable jumps out of the habitat platform zone. So far, five of our six, there we go, all six of our machines picking up their sandstorm crossing bonuses. That's three or six points, depending on starting on level one or two of the habitat platform. Looks like we mostly went with level twos there and the score reflects it, 22 to 20, with a slight red alliance advantage as drivers get full control and visibility of these machines for the next two minutes. Ecologics from the Blue Alliance already over here playing a little bit of defense against the Red Alliance here. They do need to slow those cycles down of the Kilobytes. Kilobytes a well-oiled machine by this point in the season. Uh, fixing those two-point hatch panels with ease. They've also got another very high-scoring team with them. That's Cyber Blue. This is the second time, I believe, they've been paired up this weekend. Cyber Blue also well-versed in the game of Deep Space. Finalists a few weeks ago at the Rocket City Regional. Right now, they were trying to attach a hatch panel. Elk Logic's just not giving them a whole lot of room. They're finally able to make it happen, but it is holding on by a thread. We'll see if that's able to stay there once some cargo starts making its way into that Red Alliance rocket in the top left corner of the field. All six hatch slots are placed. So now six more pieces of cargo, and we'll have a completed rocket and rank point. We'll see what they can do in the next minute or so. Red Alliance currently up by four. Let's see what the Blue Alliance is doing to answer that. Right now, we've got the Wired Warriors back at the Blue Alliance loading station. Took them a few tries to pick up these hatch panels. There's a couple of leftovers on the ground. That's fine, they do have control of it now, and they will start constructing the bottom right Blue Alliance rocket here. Their alliance partners, Pertwell Precision, deciding to mix it up a little bit. They're gonna construct the top right one. One hatch panel on that rocket. Two hatch panels on this bottom right one. And now the strategy is just going all over the place. Wired Warriors changing it up. They decide to play the cargo game in the center cargo ship for there for a minute. Rather than a plus three cycle, it ends up being a minus two. The cargo knocks the uh, hatch panel off of the Blue Alliance cargo ship onto the ground. They'll now try to make it up and climb score instead here in our final now 10 seconds of the match. Wired Warriors up on the platform for blue. That's six points on level two of the habitat. Red Alliance picking up a solid Three plus two ones in their climbs. Cyber Blue up on level three for 12 points. Both of their alliance partners up for a cumulative total of six. Remember your live scores on the board are unofficial. Your final scores require referee review, but that's done. Now we're ready to post your scores for qualification match number 53. It does end in a red alliance victory. Final score 65 to 50 with three rank points to each of those red alliance teams. Again, that's two rank points for winning the match. One rank point for meeting or exceeding the 15 habitat climb points. Cyber Blue stays in the fourth rank position there 